so fine. I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design. Of rainbow design. Far over the water, I reach my magic band. So they understand young fella tuning up a new set of guitar strings over there is Donovan. He's a singer that comes from Britain. I met him last summer at the Newport Folk Festival. And uh, I'd heard all kinds of different stories about him, but I was really, I felt I'd known him when, I, when I'd seen him. He strolled on the stage singing some very soft and mild and beautiful songs that he'd written himself. So when I found out that he was going to be in town, I asked him if he'd drop up this program, The Rainbow Quest, and we'll search out some different colors for the rainbow with him. Well, Donovan, it's up to you. What You can sing whatever you want. Some old, some new, some borrowed, some blue. This is one uh, written by a young girl who hears my voice on the radio, and she wrote a beautiful song called Sweet Joy. <laughs> My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy. My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy. I hear your voice astray, and there it is again. But you know where to be found. Are you far or near at hand? My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy. My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy. I call and I call your name, but my voice comes back the same. And I found a marble river And I've written your name on that My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy My sweet town, oh, my sweet town, oh, my sweet joy I'm in a world of candy color A kicking stone all in the past that's leading me to nowhere but I know I can't turn back my sweet town oh, my sweet town oh, my sweet joy my sweet town oh, my sweet town oh, my sweet joy my sweet town oh, my sweet town oh, my sweet Let me see what I can match it with. I'm not sure. It's such a quiet and intimate little song. Maybe here's one. It came out of the days when the men driving the wagons out west would pass by a farmer's door and tell all kinds of lies to the girls. And uh, some girl ended up singing this song. Sad is the fortune of all womankind. They're always controlled, they're always confined. 
controlled by their parents until they are wise, enslaved to their husbands the rest of their lives. Then the, the wagoner, he's got his own verses to the song. My horses ain't hungry, they won't eat your hay. Fare you will, Polly, I'm going away. Your parents don't like me, they say I'm too poor. They say I'm not worthy to enter your door. My parents don't like you, you're poor, I am told. But it's your love I'm a wanting, not silver or gold. Then come with me, Polly, we'll ride till we come to some little cabin, we'll call it our home. Like as not, he rode off and left her. Oh, sparking is pleasure, parting is grief. A false-hearted lover is worse than a thief. A thief will just rob you, take what you have. But a false-hearted lover will lead you to the grave. song of yours I heard last summer. I don't know if you'd want to do it, but I'd love to hear it if you, if you, uh, the song Colors. I think you wrote it yourself, didn't you? Well, I wrote it for a banjo player called Daryl Adams, and it has, I may sing a, another verse that people haven't really heard yet. Can I come in on it? Sure, yeah. please. Yellow is the color of the true love's hair in the morning when we rise in the morning when we rise that's the time yes that's the time I love the best mm -hmm. and blue is the color of the sky uh, in the morning when we rise in the morning when we rise that's the time yes that's the time I'd love the best and green is the color of the sparkling corn when we rise in the morning when we rise that's the time yes that's the time I love the best and mellow is the feeling that I get when I see her When I see her, mm -hmm. that's the time, yes, that's the time, I love the best. And Daryl speaks like sunshine sifting through the leaves. 
songs, won't you listen? While he sings, won't you listen? While he sings, he sings of diamonds and crimson cloaks that you can have. And yellow is the color of my true love's hair in the morning when we rise in the morning when we rise yes that's the time yes that's the time i love the best and freedom is a word that's rare they're used without thinking Without thinking mm, of the time, yes, of the time, then I've been low to play some banjo. The man you mentioned was a student in Oregon when I met him 15 years ago. And uh, then he went over, married a girl in Brussels, I think, Belgium, and never came back home, been living in Europe ever since. And there's a whole generation of banjo pickers and guitar pickers on that side of the ocean that to them, Daryl is, is something extra. He's a legend. Uh, there's another friend of yours, though, that I'd like people to meet today. Uh, when you walked into the studio, you had with you Sean Phillips and a big, beautiful sitar. And it's an instrument so few people here have seen, but I've recognized it because I had seen one before. It's the instrument they play in India. And if we ask him to join us, the question is, where should he sit? If, should he sit on the floor, or could we put him here on the table? Sit him up here. Right up here? Yeah. He doesn't like to sit on the chair, I understand. He can't. You've got to hold the guitar with the ball of your foot. <laughs> All right. We'll clear everything off the table and ask Sean Phillips to join us here. Just a moment. Swim in the ripples of your love. I dreamed you were with you, well, sitting on the golden crown on my head. My of a liquid color touch the sand. Oh, I dreamed you were with you well, sitting on the golden crown on my head. My
God, what a mood that makes. Sean Phillips, how on the earth did you start playing the sitar from India? Well, I was playing a, a coffee house called the Purple Onion in Toronto, and Ravi Shankar was doing a concert in Toronto. And so it was my night off, so I went to see the concert. And Ravi I went Shankar's backstage. the classical yeah. Guy, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I spoke to him for about oh, two hours or so. And uh, I just uh, was completely knocked out by what he did. I never saw an instrument like it or that had a sound like it. And the music was just... Uh, how, how did you end up by buying one? Did you have to go to India to buy it? No, we got it in England. It, uh, I bought my first one, and uh, I paid the down payment on it and didn't have enough money, so I had to take it back. And then we, they didn't have any more, so we got this one. Hmm. So here's an Irishman playing an Indian sitar. Show him that funny finger pick you use. It's, it's a different kind than we use in this country. Got a little, a little wire that loops over the fingernail. Of the darn. Oh, I'm, I'm just tickled to see people in this part of the world playing the sitar because for many years it's been a favorite instrument of mine. Uh, I'd heard records of it, and a couple of years ago, my family and I were in India, and we made a, a movie of a fellow playing the sitar. Of course, he plays in the old Indian style. <laughs> I'm, I'm very interested to see what happens when in India they start mm. hearing records of what you've done. <laughs> but if they have that movie up there somewhere on the projector, I'd love to just put it on and, and show you what we saw 10 years ago. Uh, the opening scenes are just of Calcutta, a huge city filled with a lot of poor people living in mud huts. start and he will he will also start according my rhythm and but he definitely does not know what I'm going to play now. He will only know the the basic raga yes. and the basic sala yes sala the rhythm and except for those basic that basic framework yes he doesn't know yes yes I'm going to perform a rag jinjoti it, and that Jinjoti Raga has got these notes while ascending is uh, descending. Descending. I can use all these notes or seven, but while going I can use only five notes. We usually start our performances in slow speed, like and we call it ala, the slow movement. composition into 16 beats and he will accompany me and then we will improvise.
you get to Calcutta any time, I hope you can look up this fellow. Imrat Khan, he's the Khan family, they're, they, they're all musicians. One of his relatives was playing in New York recently. I'd like to hear more of this, but can we take a break just a moment? And also, there's a musician. We're really taking a rainbow quest around the world because another musician from the USA I thought you'd like to meet, uh, Reverend Gary Davis. You've heard about him. I don't know if you've met him before. Can you sit there, one? All right, well, we'll meet him in just a minute. And stick around.
a song. That was a epic. Uh, Reverend Davis, I, I would like to introduce you to two young people that come across the ocean from Britain. Be glad to well, meet one's you. from Ireland, and uh, Donovan here was born and raised in the city of Glasgow, Scotland. Is that right? And uh, uh, I, I like bringing you two together because you have an awful lot in common, even though you started out in different places. Donovan, you should know that Reverend Davis was born and raised down in North Carolina. In South Carolina. South Carolina, pardon me. And uh, then he came up to New York, and he's preached and sung in all kinds of places and on the streets, wherever people would listen to him. Fifteen years ago, when I first heard him, uh, Hardly anybody knew him outside just the people in his neighborhood. But they gradually, uh, his word got around till he was getting on the stage and performing for audiences. Now you've been to East and West Coast, up to Canada, and uh, you, were, you were over in England last year, weren't you? Last year, in the Yoko last too. Mm -hmm. Well, it's wonderful for us to hear you. Well, you, you keep right on going and you develop more and more. Thank you. Is there, I know that sometimes when people hear you the first time, they don't always understand all the words. No. But uh, I think the message gets across just the same. It gets across somehow. <laughs> uh, Will, I'd like to ask you to do another one. Is there one which, uh, Maybe we could help out just a little bit. It has a kind of re refrain on it of some sort. I think I, I think I got something here. I'd like to play you one of my numbers that uh, come to me by the Holy Spirit. Would you like to hear? Sure. 
This song come to me when I was waking up in Lake George, New York. Oh, right. 
I had no to claim. I began to call on Jesus' name to save me from all sin and shame. Glory, hallelujah. Now I'm fire baptized and the Holy Ghost still. I'm out here to do my master's will. I must keep going. I can't be still. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory, I've never heard it played better, ever, not even by you. It's beautiful. You made that up in Lake George? Uh, yeah, I've, I've written that all. We have time for another song or two, but and uh, we'll take just a short break, and I want Sean Phillips here in Donovan to play Reverend Davis something with the sitar and the guitar, the two cousins. Uh, so, again, Let stick me around. feel of that thing for you, please. All right. I just want to feel it. <laughs> okay. Sean, will you explain a little bit to Reverend Davis here how this this sitar works? Because he was very curious about it. Well, it's it's I think it's hold it up close. Yeah, so you feel it's it. an instrument of, of all instruments, I think, because you play your own lead, and Reverend, it plays its own it. melody. Mm -hmm. And then under you can feel underneath these top strings, there's eleven what they call drones or resonator strings, and these they vibrate in sympathetic vibration. And uh, every time you hit the dominant tone, these strings under here all sound by themselves. Mm -hmm. And the way you tune it is you just you tune it to whatever tune you happen to be playing at the time. It's like a bagpipe. You've got to be in mm -hmm. one key. Yeah. And the frets are movable, so you can set up either a five-tone eastern scale or a 12-tone western scale. I hope you don't. Whichever you prefer. We have time for another song. Donovan, could you do one with a sitar? Yeah, this is the one with, with <coughs> works out with the sitar. This is a fairy tale yeah, cool. about knights in armor. It's called Guinevere. Queen Guinevere, here we come. Guinevere of the Royal of Arthur, draped in white velvet silken lace, the rustle of her gown on the marble staircase, sparkles on a finger slender and pale. The gist of these leaves but the raven he peeps through the dark foreboding skies or the royal domain. My 
Maroon-colored wine from the vineyards of Charlene is sipped by the queen's lips and so gently. Indigo eyes in the flickering candlelight. Such is the silence, O oh royal Camelot. The jester he sleeps, but the raven he peeps through the dark foreboding skies for the royal domain. Guinevere of the Royal Court of Arthur Draped in white velvet silken lace The sound of her gown on the marble staircase Sparkles on fingers both slender and pale the jester he sleeps, but the raven he peeps through the dark foreboding skies or the royal domain. Well, our rainbow quest is over for the day. Wish we could stay longer. It always happens just as musicians get started together and swapping songs, you have to go. But maybe we'll see you all again. Hope so. Reverend Gary Davis at my left and Sean Phillips and Donovan and me, Pete Seeger. So long for now. <laughs>